today. From Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's week one of the NFL on EA Sports. We'll see Sam Darnold and the Carolina Panthers taking on Zach Wilson and the New York Jets. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Carolinas and Bank of America Stadium here in Uptown Charlotte. Just a few moments ago, this building was shaking as the Carolina Panthers emerge from the tunnel here in Charlotte. They are ready to go as the Panthers are set to match up with the New York Jets. Hello again, everyone. Brandon Gordon, so happy to be with you to kick off this much-anticipated 2021 season. With me in the booth as we begin our sixth season together is, of course, Charles Davis. And, CD, so much to watch for coming up. What are you keeping an eye on? Well, Brandon, I'm ecstatic to be back with you, of course. And we've got a good one right here out of the gates. I'm interested in seeing some of the changes in 2021. Running backs and wide outs, even linebackers wearing single digit numbers. But even more than that, I want to see the changes defenses have made because last year we averaged 49.6 points per game. That's the highest ever by three full points. Can these defenses make an adjustment and start to catch up? Yeah, passer rating CD, an all time high. Completion percentage also an all time high. So as you said, will those numbers continue to climb northward or will the defenses adjust? From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Wilson. And the grab by Croft. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play and it's second down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Throwing again on second down. Wilson, pass incomplete. Tyler Croft, the tight end, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. Now he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. On third down, Wilson. And he finds Corey Davis. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Might want to remember that third down play, 37 yards. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. He was trying to go back to Corey Davis there, and it's second down. Now Michael Carter, who played nearby in college in Chapel Hill. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. To throw is Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. This one is going to just tuck into the bottom left corner as he gets it to go. And the Jets hit the board first. It's 3-0. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it. Because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield. Mission accomplished. Points on the board. For the first time with the Panthers.
Panthers offense led out by their new quarterback for 2021 in his fourth season overall now after three with the Jets. It's Sam Darnold. Many people put stock in a quarterback's record as a starter, and Sam Darnold just 13 and 25 overall with the Jets. So many think that he's not going to be the guy, but there's a lot of talent there, and the Carolina Panthers are expecting it to come out. This could be a classic case of a change of scenery could do him well. Plus, the surrounding cast that he's inheriting in Carolina, better than anything he played with in New York. It's a great opportunity for Sam Darnold. And yeah, the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it'll bring up a second down. Counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. We always talk about good down and distance allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. A lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, in on the stop. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked it up. Given 15 there, and the Panthers have a first down. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Robbie Anderson, the man he was looking for, and it's third down. Well, congratulations, Mr. Lucky. You know that's one that he would love to have back. That should have been picked off. Threw that one into a crowd. He's just so fortunate the defender couldn't react fast enough and get his hands up. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the carry and the touchdown by DJ Moore. A five-yard touchdown catch, and the Panthers have taken the lead. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that round early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him. It's still a touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. And he can't field it clean. Loose. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this goal round. First and 10. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. Play action. Now Wilson. Uncorks one for Davis. That's to Davis. He's got it. Touchdown, New York. Corey Davis, 42 yards. And the Jets on just two plays have taken the lead. And man, Charles, talk about zinging something in there. Those gloves, they help with one-handed catchers, the fun stuff. Any padding for a rocket like that? One would think so, but I'll guarantee you this, after that throw, his hands will hurt later. Not right now in the moment. He's just feeling good about catching it. Yeah, a little stinger, but a touchdown. And this fielded right at the goal line. He'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. On first down, Darnold. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. The former third overall pick, Quinton Williams there to bring him down. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Second.
second and 21. A lot of ground to cover. Darnold. Taking a shot here for Marshall. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. about it. They wanted to throw this rookie right into the fire, see what he could do. He shows what he can do there. And you have to really put the time and effort in. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. And they were able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. 39 yards there, a big one. Well, make that now two completions for him on this drive, and these aren't ordinary completions, they're big ones. Yeah, these are the types that make a secondary talk to each other and not in a good way, oftentimes pointing fingers. Hey, who's got him? Someone cover him. That type of indecision can open up to even more big plays. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. McCaffrey is into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Right down the middle. Lead is now 14 to 10. Just a four-play drive that time. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. Short, short kick. One of the up middle take it down. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And they're going to have really good starting field position here as that's taken up close to the 40. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. That was Dante Jackson, the one who got a hand in to knock it away. Second and 10 now, Wilson. And his throw's gonna be incomplete. He was looking for Jamison Crowder there. And it'll bring up third down. Now it's Wilson. And now another one thrown incomplete. No problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far in this first half. And you know as well as I do in this league, if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive unit. And he'll only get this back to the 10-yard line. Not too sure what he was doing there. Let's go old school there. That's absolutely a great coffin corner punt. Someone's put some time in working on that, hasn't it? Seems like every year these guys get better. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. A first down throw, Darnold. He's going to look deep for more. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore, an even 90 yards. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. An incredibly short kick fielded way up there. And they'll be 
line set up pretty nicely here as they have it up to the 35-yard line. Time for another drive here for this Jets offense. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays for one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Running left on the handoff, Carter. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. The Jets on third down. Just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. Out of the gun. Here's Wilson. And that is incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. DJ Moore, the Carolina offense, about to take over once again, making his presence felt early in this one. First half, already over the century mark. How about the yards per completion, too? That's a pretty darn good number there. Number of catches, but he's shredding defense. He's getting big yardage with each and every one of them. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. He was a thousand yard receiver a year ago as he starts off week one picking up right where he left off. He told us at the end of the preseason he was primed for a big year. He just gave us excellent evidence of his belief. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by DJ Moore. DJ Moore his way to a monster game. Three first half touchdowns. And the Panthers are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. So a good start to the campaign so far for them here in week one. Yeah, all the things that you dreamed about in April and May and that you worked on. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed. And I think they're going to take it next. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Extra point up and through. And the lead is up to 18 now. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. The return man, Ty Johnson. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. There are two words that we hear coaches say all of the time. One starts with a B, one starts with an S, ball security. And they preach it. They, they have it up in, in, in meeting rooms, right? You see the signs. They talk about it all the time. But still, when you've got defenders out there who are preaching, hey, we're going to take a man. It's caught inside the 10. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore on his way to a historic performance. Four first half touchdowns. And the Panthers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. This is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Well, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. 
New York's offense back out there and set to go. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it down, field and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. There he goes, left side. And he is finally going to be brought down, but not before he gets it to the Panthers. 22, 50 yards rushing for him in his first half as he is looking in mid-season form here in the opener. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And his throw is going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On second and ten, Wilson. This one caught by Crowder. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Now Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. Strong coverage by Carolina. And on we go to fourth down. And his kick is indeed good. And they're back within three scores as it's now a 22-point game. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Take it in at the three. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. There's D.J. Moore as he and the rest of the offense head back out there. He might be on his way to a record-setting performance. So good here, we're only in the second quarter. And it's so interesting when we watch these types of days unfold for a receiver because they need a quarterback to run it accurately, people to block for the quarterback, so many other variables. But boy, he's getting it done and in a big way. Right now, he wants to rock on every snap. Yeah, he's counting his yards in the hundreds, not the tens. Faking the give, Darnold. Taking a shot here for Marshall. And that is incomplete. Nearly intercepted. The free safety couldn't quite get his hands around it, and it brings up third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They'll run for it. McCaffrey breaks the tackle. Now an alley. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. I'm going to show you, man. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Panthers are able to widen their lead here in this first half. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. A try here for the extra point. And that'll push the lead up to 29 now. So that drive, four plays. And the last play on the drive, the touchdown run from Christian McCaffrey. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. Johnson won't return this, and the football will come out to the 25. 
Now Corey Davis and the rest of his offense getting ready for their next drive. He's up near 100 yards now here in the second quarter, but his team's down. Through no fault of his own. I mean, what a nice game he's having so far. They've got to keep finding ways to get him the football. Don't get away from that. Figure out where things are going wrong with the rest of the team. He'll be hoping to hit that 100-yard mark on this drive. From the 27, Wilson, short throw hauled in by Croft. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. So, CD, big changes for 2021. Of course, last year we had the expansion from six to seven teams in each conference making the playoffs. This year, they headlined the addition of a 17th regular season game. What did you think when you heard the news that this was happening? Well, my first thought, partner, was finally, because we've heard about a 17th game coming for a long time, and now here it is. So the beautiful part about all of it is that 17th game is going to be like these, these inner... It's a fumble, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And they are going to set up shop at the 32-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get down. Fighting through it. He's got space. And he's got run. The 20. Come on, and he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. Christian McCaffrey in the final seconds of the first half. And the Panthers will extend their lead here just before halftime. I know I should keep the focus and the spotlight on the hero that just scored, but tackling's been an issue for this defense all game long. I can't set that aside. We just saw it again here. Missed tackles leads to his long touchdown run. Now the try here for the point after. And the route is on here in this first half. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run. The